Hello, my name is Camille and welcome to my channel and in this video we are talking about syncing video and audio clips right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I will show you a couple of techniques, an automatic technique that doesn't always work but it's super convenient and then I'm gonna dive into some more manual techniques that can let you really fine tune the syncing between your audio and video files. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are here in Premiere Pro and this is an example from one of my previous videos and as we can see we have a screencast here on track 2 and a talking head on track 1. Both of them recorded audio and we need to sync them up together. So what we can do, the easiest method is just to select them both, right click, synchronize, click on audio, choose mix down, hit OK and then you're done. So that was basically it, hit the like button, hit subscribe, ring the bell, right? Because this is it, right? No, of course not, because this method doesn't always work. And let me show you what you can do if this doesn't work. So let's back it up. And the way that it doesn't work is that either Premiere straight up will tell you that it couldn't perform the automatic syncing or it will produce some wonky result that is clearly unacceptable. So what you can do is because you can see at the waveforms here and by the characteristics of this waveform, you can see that these three little peaks are probably should be lined up together. So what you can do to help Premiere figure it out is just to cut this clip right after these three peaks, clip this one right here, then select these, move them out of the place, then select these two short clips, right click, synchronize, audio, OK. And with these shorter clips, Premiere will have much easier job to actually sync it out automatically. And now that you have those first parts of those two clips lined up, it is easy to just move back the right part back to its original place. So you can take the screencast, move it here, actually here. You can take the talking head, move it here. And then what you can do, you can actually right click on the cut and click join through edits. Right click on this cut, join through edits. And then you have both clips that are perfectly in sync, there is no cut, no nothing. You can just start editing your video right from that point where both of these clips are in sync. But the second method doesn't always work either. Sometimes it's just not possible to use the automatic syncing in Premiere Pro and also if you want to sync up more video and audio files, like for instance you have three cameras, three angles, four angles or maybe even more, it is very hard to use the automatic syncing with Premiere. So let me show you how you can do this actually manually. So we are back at square one where both these clips are out of sync and what you can do is actually just shorten the screencast and then you can just move it manually to align this characteristic thing on the waveform that are these three peaks. And by the way, these three peaks are just claps. You can just clap with your hand. And that way on the video file, you can see where the hands meet and when the loud noise should happen. And also on the audio file, it's very easy to spot because it's a very short and very high peak in the audio because it produces a loud but short noise and this is a very handy tool to gauge whether the syncing is actually correct or not. So in order to sync manually, you can just move the second clip, move it a little bit, a little bit, and you can actually zoom in here, you can zoom in and then you can move it. And now what you can do to fine tune it, you can hold the control or command key. So I'm just holding command and use the left and arrow keys to notch the selected clip left and right but one video frame. And that way you can really fine tune this sync. But as you can see, you can never really sync it perfectly, you know? You can get it close enough, but not perfect. And if you're working with a multi-cam setup, and basically here when I have a talking head and a screencast, it's basically two camera angles. I need two video footages to make my video work. This is as good as it gets. You can just sync it like this, leave it like this, and edit your video from now on. But if the second audio file is actually a separate audio only recording, for instance, you have your main camera and you have your separate external audio recorder, you can actually do a way better job. So let me show you that. So let's imagine this yellow clip is audio only. We can actually delete the video feed by holding the option key and clicking this one and then backspace to delete. Now we have only the talking head with the audio and we have a separate audio right here. And again, if I nudge it left and right, I'm advancing but one video frame, which is not perfect. But what you can do now is actually click on this hamburger icon right here and click on show audio time units. 
And now you can actually move this around by one audio unit. And as you probably know, and if you don't, it's very important to know that the sampling rate of the audio tracks is a way lot higher than the sampling rate of the video file. For instance, the video footage may be shot at 24, 30 frames per second or something like this, but the audio files are characterized by kilohertz. For instance, 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. And this kilohertz numbers is actually how much information do you have per second. So you have to multiply it by 1000 because the kilo prefix means 1000 so for instance 48 kilohertz audio file has 48 thousand information units per second and if in a video file if you have for instance 24 frames per second recording you only have 24 information units per second so the sampling rate of the audio files is way way higher so if you switch to audio units you can actually move the audio clip with way more precision than you could with a video file so because we have so much data per second then nudging this yellow clip doesn't actually make sense anymore so what you can do is just grab it with your mouse and try to move it but because the timeline is probably set to snapping mode it won't let you move it by this small distance so you have to disable the snapping you can hit the s key or actually disable this by clicking this magnet icon right here and with the snapping disabled you can zoom in even more and then you can really move it around tiny steps tiny steps until it is perfectly in sync and then you can switch back the snapping you can disable the audio units you can zoom out and you have a perfect sync Awesome, right? One thing to keep in mind though is that if you have audio tracks from different cameras, so for instance you have an audio track from your video camera and you have an external audio track from your audio recorder, it may be that they are recorded with different sampling rates, for instance 24.1 kHz and 48 kHz. And if you drop it on the timeline, if you try to align it, it may happen that after a few minutes of a long recording, they will drift away by a little bit. So the best practice is actually if you record a long video and you know that you're gonna place some cuts somewhere in the middle because, you know, let's be honest, no one has a take that lasts you know 10 minutes or something like this you know just you can just do a few claps in order to be able to sync it again and then look at the waveforms in your timeline and make sure that they are not drifting too much because it's a very common thing that can happen and you need to look out for that and as a last example let's delete this and let's imagine that we have a separate video file and a separate audio file but the video file doesn't have the audio so we can right click here and click unlink and now these two are separate so we can make it out of sync for a little bit and then what you can do, if you clap your hands, you can just look for the clap. You can use the left and right arrow keys to move by one frame. And when the hands meet, you know that the audio sound should happen. So you can just move the bottom clip, which is the audio clip, and align this peak. You can nudge it with the command and left and align them together. And have you ever wondered why on the professional film sets they have this prop, it's called a slate, you know, when they write with a magic marker the name of the scene, which take it is, and then you hear this clap and action, and this clap is actually used to sync up audio. So now you know how pros do it, and you can mimic the same behavior without the slate by just clapping with your hands. So that's basically for me for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. It really helps me out. Also consider subscribing to the channel because there will be a lot more videos like this in the future. I actually upload new videos pretty much every single week so definitely consider subscribing. I cover photography and filmmaking tutorials so basically everything that revolves around things you can do with your camera. So if any of that is up your alley definitely consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!